You're right, everyone. It's Millie from Blackburn Rover Seas. I'll be doing a vlog today of Rovers. No, it's not Rovers actually. It's Coventry versus Rovers because we're away. Um. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that, and hopefully Rovers will win because if Rovers don't win, I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. <sighs> well, it's half seven in the morning now. We're just about to set off down to Ewood to get to um, Aldi to get some grub. And then we've got to set off to Darwin, the other side of Darwin, to get the coach. But yeah, my score predictions will be... Uh, I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. But, as they say, never bet on Rovers. So, obviously, never bet on Rovers. But yeah, I shall see you in a bit. I've just been informed that the coach that we're going on um, got cancelled at 9 o'clock last night. So, obviously, the person that was organising it had to rush about trying to find a coach to be able to take us all down to commentary. So, shout out to Matt Pollitt, um, because, obviously, he's managed to sort it all for us. Aldi was shut, it done open till late, so we've come to Matt Day's to get a breakfast instead. We're at Aldi now, we're just about to go in and get a couple of bits. I've just got that. Lewis. Massive bag full of munch. But yeah, he's got to do the coach there and back. How oh, we get the run on home, how we get the run on here. Oh, we know it's close on the way. Run away, run away. To the Premier League, run away. Says the players on the way. And back in the time, we're black and always. I've just gone to the service station and I've got to say it's the most weirdest service station I've ever seen. It's just like a circle. But yeah, we're going to eat this and then go back on coach. Scratch cards, and we're about half an hour away, either an hour or half an hour anyway. We're on coach now, yeah. We're allowed to drink on coach as well, by the way. But yeah, we're just outside of Bolton, just about to get on coach now. Let's have a piss to get here. We've just come to the second stop, which is our final stop on the way there anyway. And they was all thinking what the fucking hell's that? <laughs> I need to go and get my coat because it is between raining and snowing so sleeting. Um and we're gonna try and walk to a shop because that pub's gonna be expensive. No, we're just walking through a council estate now because my brother's just took us all the way around to get to a convenience store to get some beers for the um, coach 
So now they've made friends with um, some locals who are showing us the way to get back. We're at the Century Pub and then you've got Rovers fans singing. So there you will find me. Oh, <laughs> 
Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. The modern days. <laughs>
house. It is covered in police. Must be expecting loads of us. I wanna go home. Coventry's a shit all. I wanna go home. Fuck it, early! Styles 1 to 5 apparently. We're here now and we're going under Subway. Didn't know they had one, but let's go. Singing us, but that's mostly because all our fans are at that side 
um, well, we wanted to sit next to away fans just in case we ended up scoring. I don't even know if I'm walking up to my seat because it's so confusing. Everywhere it's got, everything looks the same. But they do sausage rolls. I've never heard really of a stadium doing sausage rolls. But yeah, they do sausage rolls.
say your shit uh, they don't do all of it.
not get rid of him. As I said, short and simple, but my message that I want to send to anyone from Coventry, or either a Coventry fan, a Coventry City worker, and especially the stewarding services and the police services, is that the stewarding services and the police services are shite. We had fans that was Coventry fans sat amongst us, and then when he started on our fans, a 14-year-old child, can I just add, nothing got done he didn't get moved i'm telling them that you had to do your job properly and they just laughed in my face basically and then when all our fans started kicking off at the end nothing got done there neither so what sort of a football stewarding service do you hold when you do that kind of stuff well i've got to keep this short and simple but rovers first off was just <sighs> thank you next um, but Rovers second off, I don't know what Morbury said to him, but it worked. Obviously, we were saying Morbury sorted out, and he obviously did. Um, but yeah, obviously the score, what the hell? Like they managed to do that in like the last minute, and there was a hundred and one minutes altogether. It don't make sense. It's just typical Rovers, isn't it?